In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to slow down one of the most uh, up-and-coming formations in Madden 22. Honestly, one of the ones that most people weren't thinking, I think, in the originally like, beginning of the year that this was going to be as good as it is, but it is one of the top formations this year, and that is stopping 2x2 uh, two two compression, uh, specifically the audible or the, um, the, the shift to that out of gun bunch one of the most difficult things in my opinion to stop in this game so if you are ready to take a look at that we're going to dive into that here in just a second if you're not subscribed i want to ask you to subscribe also we're going to be talking today about the 46 playbook cover four show two and the 335 wide formation um, i've got a full ebook on this that gives a little bit more in-depth analysis and breakdown and explanation so if you want to get access to that ebook or just join um, or get access to all of my ebooks you can do that by joining our patreon it's only ten dollars a month and it unlocks everything we've got 18 offensive and defensive ebooks available to you over there we've also got pro player film rooms um, where we actually take a look and dissect pro player film study as well as all the updates the cool part about the membership is it updates pretty much every week with new stuff and as long as your subscription is active you get all the new stuff and you get all the new ebooks that we release uh, as well so you'll basically one-stop shop gets you everything that you need to get better at the game um, I like to come out in 335 normal out of 46 playbook because it allows me to audible down to wide where I can cross man and make a little bit better uh, adjustments and then uh, for the offensive playbook we're in this Bengals playbook you saw pretty much uh, I think Henry was running this Wesley was running this pretty much everybody was running this ghost Madden was actually onto this um, in the beginning of the year this tight slots week one of the best formations um, in the game and you can actually pair this very nicely uh, with the gun bunch and really the main reason why people were running this formation so much is for this play right here post wheel drag the play mesh spot and the play four verticals those three plays together and then of course flood probably the best couple play combo um, in the game it's a phenomenal scheme in and of itself it's also a phenomenal mini scheme um, as well so we're going to open up with uh, post wheel drag talk about the concept and then we're going to talk about how you can counter it so what the, one of the reasons why this, uh, this formation is so good is because it gets over 30 yard clouds. So instead of cross utilizing crossers, which if you know anything about crossers, you might know that crossers don't get over 30 yard clouds um, in this year's game, at least generally speaking, this post, it will. So if I streak uh, more, I'm at the 20, you're gonna see that I can roll out because I got escape artists, the best ability in Madden, and I can sling it down the field. And you see that it's about um, sign significantly further than a zone dropped cloud would be, even a 30 yard. So it's, um, I think right there, that's actually about a 45 yard dot. The cool part is you have it on both sides too. Um, you can smart route this post over here and basically do the other, the same exact thing, except now over here, escape artist allows us to roll out. And then as you see, we can throw that in again right there. I wouldn't, you, you don't put the running back on the route, of course. So I'll show that one more time. Uh, mesh spot, streak. Uh, oftentimes they block the tight end and then you know typically you could do something like this it's a very simple concept but very good so again you got a skate artist so nobody can stop you you roll out and as you see you can throw this up field and, and I got stopped and cut off but that would have ran to about the 30 so again about a 50 yard uh, post route that doesn't stop running one of the main reasons why people like this formation so much because they can really do um, all kinds of stuff out of it. There you see, see how deep that gets? That's about a 50 yard post route. So that's really the primary reason. And then the secondary reason is because you have the ability to run something like four verticals where you have double wheels. And because it comes from compression, these wheels will get inside zones and will abuse yellow zones. And as you can see, it gets wide open. So very difficult offense to defend, really does three or four things that are really good um, and then of course to you know to boot all that you can go to this play here mesh spot where you have the running back on the wheel and then you can honestly do really whatever you want with this guy a lot of you can even motion this guy over here create a bunch tight end type of look um, where you've got a you know maybe a streak you've got a corner now and then you've got a, a pull route or you know if you wanted to do it like this you certainly could but this creates you know now you've got a, a a crap ton of stuff to worry about is what I'm getting at. Okay, so how do we stop it, or what do we do? Where do we start? We start with three through five wide, of course, and we start with cover four show two. My favorite defense in the game right now because it is the most easy to adapt defense, even though you might not think it is. Cover four show two is a match quarters defense. It's quarters coverage. 
Uh, what quarters coverage basically uh, boils down to uh, in compression is one of the sides is going to give you a box check. Now, I've been on the record. I've talked about this, had a little bit of a breakthrough with this defense. If you were to talk to anybody in Madden and they, you were to ask them, should I run match defense against compression, almost every single person would tell you no. And the reason that they would tell you no is because they honestly don't understand how it works. That's the bottom line. And uh, the, other, the other reason why is because it, it doesn't really make sense. Because what you should be getting in compression is you should be getting a box check to both sides, but you don't. You actually get a box check to one side of the field, and you, I, again, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong on this, but I think you basically just get a simple, um, either a solo check or a uh, just a standard quarters coverage on the back side. What I mean by that is this. If I were to run the bench play, and this will prove it really easily. If I were to run the bench play here, if I run... Um, Ah, shoot, I don't know if I can show it. Maybe a flood. He's a flood. So I've got flood here. It's got a corner to the inside receiver. Um, and then I've got this deep post to green. Okay. And then on the back side, we'll just do a curl. Okay. What I want you to watch here is how the defense defends this. What's going to happen is in a box check, they will swap off. These quarters, um, these quarters will actually switch who has who. Okay, so this guy will take the inside guy and this guy will take the outside guy. If it's true quarters, they won't switch off because both receivers technically are running vertical routes, which we'll come back to in just a second. Again, I don't know why Zach Ertz is motioning like a dummy, but let me get him to come back here, hopefully. Um, call timeout. But anyways, so that's the idea. And then on the back side, you've got basically a solo uh, check. I need to see if I can find a corner route to the other side from the other receiver, but I don't think it has one in this playbook, which is fine. Uh, we can just use bench, it's fine. Okay, so so here we go. There's your concept, and then you go there, okay? So we go to cover four, and what you'll see here is, you'll see this switch off to the left. Maybe, if I can snap the ball. All right, perfect. Let, let us snap the ball. See the switch off, see that right there? And I can't throw my corner, okay? That's huge, that's huge, 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 huge because it allows the defenders to get better leverage in terms of how they're gonna cover routes. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you the same basic thing on the right side of the screen. We're gonna use a, a, a smart routed out route to try to, to help us um, because I don't have a corner, which is fine. So corner, out route, and fade. What you'll notice, and, and again, it's the same thing should be true. It's, it's a vertical breaking pattern to the outside. But what you'll see is you don't get that. You see there, and I can throw my out, or in the other side case, I can throw my corner. Okay? Why is and, and I'll show you so I'll show you the real key to this too. So why does this happen? Great question. It has to do with the where the running back is at on the field. So if the running back's over here, for example, now, and I don't know if I can actually let me see if I can go to another tight set to try to prove this. This, this formation in particular does a weird thing when you motion the running back to that side. Of course, I don't have another one. But basically, the the box check um, the box check is dependent upon the running back. So if the running back is on the right side of the quarterback, then you'll get the box check. I'll show you what I'm, I guess I could show you this way. So if I audible to flood and I flip the play, okay, now I've got um, my nickel corner is misaligned. So you might think it depends on the nickel corner, but it really doesn't. So if we come back over here, watch the three rack open, and what you'll see here is you see that, okay? So that's the basic idea that I wanna open with. So we get a really good coverage to the left side of the field. We get a terrible coverage to the right side of the field. If you know anything about how I talk about defending bunch, um, what it really boils down to is having to deal with the crossing route from bunch to the back side. It is the primary thing that you've gotta worry about, okay? is the primary thing that you have to worry about. So what I like to do with this, of course we're gonna blitz our user, of course we're gonna crash our line up. We're gonna start there. Then, another thing that we talk about, when the, when the tight end is opposite of the running back side in match coverage, what we can do is we can bluff blitz this defensive end, and what you'll notice here, I'm not gonna make any other adjustments, just that bluff blitz. I want you to watch what happens when I go to X spot, and what's gonna happen is he should play in man coverage on the running back. He basically will match a man to man. See that right there? And now he makes that a really difficult throw. He makes it a difficult throw. Doesn't stop it completely, but he does make it a difficult throw. It's hard to stop anything completely in Madden 22. Okay? So, blitz your user, crash your lineup. I like to press. Um, I like to bluff, blitz the D end. That's, those are the primary things you want to start with. 
Then what you want to do is, and this is just my opinion, uh, what I like to do in against tight, you have to think about what they're go what the offense is going to do. When they're compressed, it's primarily because they want to run crossing routes. They want to run. They want to run drags, slants, all that stuff. The way I deal with that is I purple zone. Um, I put both of my linebackers um, in a purple zone. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, it just it, it. You don't have to do that. In fact, I'm going to give you a different adjustment. You can do that. You could also do it this way. Just shade your coverage up. By just shading your coverage up, you see it puts both of them in curl flats. Now we have to deal with the problem of the wheel routes, right? Well, the problem of the wheel routes is basically those wheels can get inside. So how do we want to deal with that? Well, what I like to do with, with this is you want to man one of the wheel routes up. Now, out of the players on the field, who is the most likely person that is going to be blocked? The tight end. They're going to want to block the tight end so they have extra protection. So what I like to do typically is take this linebacker, and if, the, if you really want to man up the tight end, you certainly can. You have that flexibility. You could also, again, back to my original point, you could purple both linebackers, take this slot, and man him up on the slot. So you see now we've got man coverage here, and we've got good coverage on the back side of this. And now all we have to really play, and then what I like to do is play um, man up this quarter on that, that receiver. You don't technically have to do that but I do like to do that, um, or man up the safety on that guy, so you get kind of a double a double on this backside guy, so if he crosses the face, you've got good coverage. You don't have to do either one of those things, and you'll still be in a decent spot, because typically within this play, you're getting slant post. Typically speaking, that's what you're gonna get. So if I'm out in, um, if, I'm in if I'm in mesh spot, we've got a post to more, we've probably got a fade here, we've probably got a slant and an out. Very typical route combination. This makes it real easy for your user. You're going to open up here. Oh, slant. Okay, I know there's probably a post coming back across. And notice the match coverage play the post perfectly. Literally plays the post perfectly to that side of the field. What it doesn't play perfect perfectly is any crosser from the back side or from the, the, the left side or anything from that left side corner that you have to pay attention to. So post wheel drag is kind of the, the next piece that I wanted to to hit on so again i like to purple both of these guys just because it allows me to put my slot corner in man coverage better cover guy than my linebacker and then i've got the three wreck for the running back now let's say they run the double wheels or let's start with mesh spot so let's say they run this um and let's just say you know they, they, they a lot of times this is the setup i mean a lot of times it's basically this uh, because you have a seam wheel if they don't want to do that they might do a hitch you know but basically that's what you're going to get some kind of route concept that this coverage will handle pretty well to the other side the primary read is this is this backside um or this this post so again you see post oh it's crosser i know i gotta help i gotta help i gotta help i gotta help and everything else is basically taken away now again i know this is a very simplified version of defending this formation we go a lot more in depth in the patreon because we've actually taken clips of the best players in the world and what they're doing out of these sets and we actually walk you through how to stop that, um, which is a new series we're going to be working on over the course of the next couple weeks with the Patreon. Um, and then this concept right here. We saw Henry run this. This is what most people like to run out of this. Very, very good concept. Exact same adjustments, and that's what's really cool about it. So exact same adjustments here. Now, you don't have to worry about a wheel to the left, and you really don't have to worry about the running back to the left. What you have to worry about is a tight end to the right. So what we can easily do here. Stamp them all. Oh, okay, they're in that. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm kind of in that area. And now you put them in a position where it's not super, it's, it's you know, again, you're, you're not really going to have, um, you're not going to have a great opportunity to hit either of these wheels. The backside wheel has got a ton of coverage over there. Now, can they try to force feed it? Of course they can. It's Madden 22. But you've got, at least got people in the area of which that they're trying to attack. So you've got the guy here for the running back. You've got this over here. And honestly, that's not terrible defense on the tight end either. It's not terrible defense on the tight end. Um, but four verts is a nightmare to defend this year out of tight. Um, I want to give you one more way. If they're, if they're just running four verts, I want to give you a little bit of a safer coverage call um, that you can use with this. And what that basically is, is go to cover four show two. And then this time what you're going to do is you're just simply going to take this guy, man him up on the slot, bluff blitz this guy right here, and then you're going to man the safety up on the tight end. That's it. 
And then by doing that, you still have these quarter flats that are they're, they're not as good against crossers, but you'll see they play pretty good against wheels. And if they try to throw a wheel, you've got a guy kind of in that area, and then you've also got a zone in that area. So you just make it a little bit harder on them to do that. And then what I like to do against tight, uh, very important, once they see that you're dropping a lot of coverage, they'll start putting their tight end into routes. So what you want to do with this, this is just my personal opinion, is you want to call something like this, but what you really want to do is man up that running back with that slot. Or what you can also do with this is you can bluff blitz him, and, and, and he'll typically cover the running back. But basically, if they're sending everybody out on a route, get you some quick pressure, and it's tough to read it in tight. That's why most of the time, that's why most of the time, if they're going to run a concept, they typically will block the tight end, okay, because of that. But again, let me go over the adjustments one more time. Cover four, show two. Purple, both linebackers. Bluff blitz the DN on the running back side. And then take the slot and man him up on, I like to man him up on the slot. But if you want to man him up on the outside guy, you certainly can. And then on the right side of the field, consider, you don't have to, but consider manning that outside quarter up on that slot. Or just expect that if they run a bench call, you got to get over here and help. you got to get over here and help because that, that corner out can be a problem. Okay? So that's gun tight defense or at least a nice little start into how to guard it. If you want to learn, um, if you want to learn more about this defense or you just want to get better in the game, join the membership. Patreon membership is linked in the description. So if you want to sign up for that, all you got to do is go down to the description of the video and click that link and you can go over and get that. The cool part about it is you get everything. As long as your membership's active, you get all the updates, everything for just $10 a month. Thanks for watching. If you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description below.